Hello everyone, this is Al Lopez with Solution Gem showing you here how to connect your uh, Zebra printer that it's connected to the Ethernet or network and make it work with your Mac computer. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the printer's IP address. The easiest way to find the printer's IP address uh, specifically for this uh, C4M printer is to push this network button and that will uh, give you the the printout that will look something like this this right here is going to be your local IP address so that's the number we need to to use when we install the driver so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install it on your Mac so the first thing we do is we go into the system preferences then printers and scanners then we click on the plus sign so we add the printer so here this is if you had a usb connector or a uh, network connected printer but this time we're going to use the ip feature so the address is going to be one zero point zero point one dot seventy four. This is gonna be different on your system because your router has different uh, different numbers. So on the name, I'm just gonna call it. C4M network. Okay, then here on the protocol, we're gonna leave this at line printer. At the location, you can put any location you need. And on the driver, we need to use select software. And we're just gonna type in Zebra. And this particular printer, because it's the Z4M, we're gonna use CPL label printer. If you had a uh, EPL printer like the LP2844 or S4M EPL, you would choose the EPL2. But for this particular purpose, we're gonna use Zebra CPL label printer. We're gonna click OK. Now that everything is done, we're gonna click Add. Okay, and it's that easy. Your printer's ready to go. So now we just go, go ahead and open a label that I know I need to print. We're gonna click on, uh, this is on previews. So we're gonna click file, print. We're gonna choose our C4M network. We're gonna make sure it's a four by six. So that's the label that I have. You can choose any other label if you have a different label size. Everything looks perfect. And we're gonna say print. Now if everything went okay, if everything went perfect, the label is gonna come out of the printer and it'll look perfect. Let me show it to you. So here is the label. It looks perfect. Now, now you know how to set it up. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Have a good day.